Coronavirus has hit the Latinx community especially hard during this pandemic. Yeah, very hard. In 44 states and Washington, D.C., the percentage of Latinos infected by the virus surpasses their share of the population, with California being one of them. CBS News shines a light on this issue in the upcoming documentary, Pandemia, Latinos in Crises. And CBS News contributor Maria Elena Salinas is joining us live with a preview. And Maria, I'm so proud. Seven Latinos mm -hmm. worked on this special, the only network who could really make this happen. Thank you so much, Suzanne and DeMarco. By the way, it kind of makes me want to sing listening to you this morning. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, I think this is a first for CBS. We have this special, Pandemia, Latinos in Crisis, where all of the journalists on camera are Latino, and the majority, about 95% of those who work behind the scenes, are also Latino. So Latino power on CBS. So what is the special focused on? You know, it, it's focused on how Latinos are being affected by COVID-19. It's a story, they're stories of disparity, of inequity, of leadership. It's not just pointing out the problems that we face, but also some of the solutions and those who are stepping up to help. We have to remember that Latinos have been disproportionately affected by, by the virus, not only in, in health and in the number of cases and deaths, but also those who have lost their jobs, um, those who have lost income, and, and those who are being more exposed to the, the virus because they are essential workers in doing the types of jobs that cannot be done from home and keeping the economy going. And you spoke to those essential workers. Um, what did they tell you about how their roles are impacting their community? Well, they know that that what they're doing is is important. You know, many of these families are not staying home, and it's not their choice. Um, they go to work because they have to go to work. They need to pay the rent. They need to feed their families, but also they need to keep the supply chain going. And you know, I think that they're proud, but at the same time, they're scared because. In Latino households, we know there's multi-generational families that live together in small spaces. Sometimes they can't stay apart. So they are afraid of, uh, of infecting each other, of getting sick. But at the same time, they're afraid of not being able to put food on the table and supporting their families. And it is no secret that you have been doing an amazing job covering the pandemic daily since it began. Why is it so important to watch this special here, especially this time, particularly for those of us who are currently experiencing alarming surges in our community? community now. I think because we haven't focused as much on the Latino community, I know that there has been uh, coverage in you know, how this affects everyone, and it does affect everyone regardless. This, this virus does not discriminate. It affects everyone regardless of, of race, of gender, of age. But I think that we needed to focus on the Latino community because they have been so disproportionately affected, the highest number of cases, the highest number of, uh, of infections. And this time is when we can we can see what their needs are. And so this is not just for the Latino community, it's about the Latino community. So everyone can understand that we are Americans too, we are being affected and we are out there doing the types of jobs that a lot of people can't do from home. So I think we need the recognition of these essential workers. They are the farm workers, the grocery store clerks, the delivery people, the um, meat and, and, and poultry plant employees. Um, and of course, they're also health care providers. Uh, among those health care providers, there's about almost 30,000 um, dreamers. So. You know, we are contributing, we are helping, but we're also suffering. And the specific needs of the Latino community need to be addressed because the historical uh, inequities that already existed in the Latino community have been exacerbated by this pandemic. This is huge, and I'm so glad we're on it. I'm so glad you're on top of this as well, uh, listening to every single word that she's saying in the reporting. That's great. And I got to uh, add this. Your home is absolutely gorgeous. Isn't it? Every time we have you on the oh, show, I'm you. like trying to see what's going on in the background. <laughs> yes. It is beautiful. All right. Thank you, and uh, the best of luck room. to you. Yes, yes. yes. My living room. <laughs> All right. Take care. Good to see you, Maria Elena. Thank you, Maria Elena. Nice to see you, too. Thanks. Can't wait to see this documentary mm -hmm. and to watch the CBS News documentary Pandemia Latinos in Crisis. It airs this Sunday night at 9 on our streaming news app, CBSN.